Hello, Pacific League fans and fans to be. I'm Gabe Lerman. You know, the voiceover guy from the Top 20 Plays videos? I've scoured the internet for the most passionate English speaking supporters of each of the six PL teams to try and convince you why you should root for their club. This is Making the Pitch. My guest today is Joseph A., a Sapporo transplant who's one third of the unofficial international fan account on Twitter for the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. They're known for live tuning games in English, so I'm curious what more he needs to do to get you on board with the fighters fandom. Joseph, thank you for making the time to chat with me today. Oh, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. I know this may be a, a bad year to ask, but what did you think of the 2021 season? <laughs> well, obviously it was a bit of a disappointment, but I'm also glad that on the last day of the season, I mean, it's not saying much, but I'm glad that we were able to sneak out of last place on the last day. So that was kind of a very nice reprieve. <laughs> Yeah, I, I chatted, the person I chatted with for Cebu had the opposite opinion of you, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sorry for, for that, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was, it, it was a tough season, but I hope you still had a favorite moment to pick out. Oh, absolutely. That. I mean, um, obviously, apart from the big boss, Shinjo, um, I guess we'll get to that later. But uh, for me, one of the highlights was... Uh, Kato's performance on October 18th, uh, you just don't really see a performance like that out of a guy with that kind of stuff. I believe it was like, what, nine strikeouts and only three hits allowed over nine innings. Yeah, and, and, up a against, and up against the Eagles, too, who are no slouch with the bat. Yes, and so that was just an outstanding performance, and that really stuck out to me. Now, because of that, I'm getting the sense that Kato may not be your favorite player. Who is your favorite player on the fighters right now? Uh, that has to absolutely be Kensuke Kondo. Um, you know, he's the on-base god <laughs> of the entire NPB, really. Um, I, well, maybe apart from Yanagita, but that's... Uh, <laughs> but still, I mean, he's certainly one of the top guys in the league. Uh, he's really fun. Every at-bat, he's going to give you a battle. And he's just really fun to watch. Um, and he's surprisingly adequate with his defense uh, for a guy with his, uh, I guess, physique, I guess you could say. <laughs> and this is an obvious shameless plug for where we can mention the domestic player uh, video in which we start with Kensuke Kondo and go into why he's such an on-base phenom. Yeah, he's got such great plate discipline. So he's not going to give you an easy at-bat for if you're the opposite, uh, the opposing pitcher, really. He's definitely going to find a way to get on base and he's actually got an act for the uh for the clutch moments too uh with an eye ahead to 2022 who should north american fans keep an eye on any breakout candidates that we should uh keep a, a close watch absolutely um i'm a really big fan of hiromi ito i think that his uh rookie season was obviously a great start like and it's hard to imagine him getting even better than that but i think this next season is going to be an even better for, season for him because a lot of his underlying stats show that in some ways that he was actually probably getting a little bit unlucky with like uh, balls in play and whatnot. So that's definitely going to improve, I think. There's something fun about watching an ace blossom in front of your eyes, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And he's, to me, he's uh, going to perhaps take the ace crown away from Uasawa, which, you know, that's saying a lot. <laughs> and for a team that's developed aces in the past, like Darvish and Otani, clearly there's something in the coaching staff for the fighters that turns out such fantastic pitchers. Ito's not going to be the only pitcher or even rather player to blossom in this upcoming season. And that's largely thanks to uh, Shinjo saying that he's going to give a lot of the younger guys more chances this season. I'm curious, I know that you relocated to Sapporo. Was that the instigation for becoming a fan of the fighters or were you keeping an eye on them before you moved to Japan? I was definitely keeping an eye on the fighters before I came to Japan. And actually I became a fan of the fighters because I actually watched the 2009 World Baseball Classic and I got my eyes on Hugh Darvish and I was just blown away by his stuff. Um, and I was like, I gotta watch him. I gotta find a way to see this guy. It took me a while to find some 
<laughs> sources. Um, <laughs> but I was able to start watching some of his games in 2010. And after I started watching the team, you know, it was thanks to guys like Hichori Morimoto, uh, Kensuke Tanaka, and Atsunori Inaba. Like those guys, they just made me fall in love with the whole team. So that's how I became a fighters fan. That's awesome. I mean, I can imagine it's t- it was tougher back in 2010 than for fans today to follow the Pacific League. Shameless plug for PLTV. Click here. All right. Now we get to the most important question of the bunch. Why should fans cheer for the fighters? Joseph, it's time to make your pitch. Well, there's so many reasons. First of all, they are not afraid to buck the trend. They are one of the most innovative teams when it comes to finding ways to be either interesting or competitive. I think there's no further proof than that other than the signing of Shinjo, the big boss, uh, like just getting him on board with this team. They are not afraid to be against the grain, (laughs) you know, and even if they're not maybe going to be competitive this next season, they're going to find ways to make sure that you are interested to watch them on the field because you you just don't know what you're going to see from them. But even so, how should I say, they're not going to forget how to give an effort on the field either. They're going to be competitive the best they can. They're going to fight, hence their name. Um, <laughs> the focus for this season, the reason why you should watch this season is because they're going to give a lot of the youngsters a chance. And to me, one of the youngsters that also people should keep an eye on is Chusei Manami. He's Going to me, he's going to blossom into one of the best power bats for the fighters for the next maybe five to ten years for the team. All right. So to sum up, if you want to be, if you want to cheer for a team that is on the bleeding edge, that is always trying new things, that is never boring, and has a lot of youth and new blood ready to surge through its lineup, then you too should become a fan of the fighters. Joseph, thank you for making the time today. It was great chatting with you. Yes, it was really great chatting with you too, Gabe. Thank you for inviting me again. (laughs) Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube-y stuff. We've got one more interview left, and then it's into the season. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.